I do this almost every day. Sometimes I do it right when I wake up. Got to maintain the body as much as possible so I can skate. Yeah. A little routine that I do like proper exercise maybe three times a week. That's just when I'm home. When I go on trips, I just skate. I watch skate videos probably every day, but I love watching skating as much as I skate, almost. I don't know, skateboarding is it's my life. They did colorways for all the amps and uh, this was mine, <laughs> the yellow with the normal oval. And I got my eyes on the board. I'm stoked on this one for sure. I had to spare one to have on the wall. It's Lil Herm. We call him Lil Herm, but he's actually way bigger than me, but I'm older than him. Comes to my house every day, we go out skate. He helped me build the park in the, or he basically did the whole park in my backyard. Good things for warming up, you know? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I have this thing with my knee, so I can't like... Sometimes it's hard to warm up because it hurts a little bit and sometimes it's fine. It's weird. Best place to warm up. <laughs> My mom right here. She's the one. Mama skate shop right here. And the one that drove me everywhere when I was a kid. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's my fault. It's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> I take the blame. <laughs> and she's yeah, been driving us everywhere and she's always been a part of the skate community here in Larvik. And thanks to her, we have skate parks and we have, she, she has her, the skate shop, which is incredible. My mom, superhero. She's a superhero. We go into the indoor park and to uh, Mama Skate Shop. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I've been to the States a couple times before, but uh, I won this contest in Amsterdam. The prize for winning it was going to the States. I went there and I could bring a friend. And then I brought Pekka and we just went there to film instead. <laughs> that was to, yeah to New York and then instead of going home I went to San Francisco and I kind of got connected with Deluxe over there after that and I just kept going back and forth and they just kept hooking me up with boards and after a little while they brought me on my first trip to San Diego me and Harry went to San Diego together for the first time with Real and uh, after that, got brought on more trips, and then suddenly me and Harry got on the team, which is insane to me. <laughs> it doesn't actually make sense. Uh, I didn't, never thought I was going to be a part of real skateboards or anything like that. Now that I actually ride for a brand that I love and stuff like that, it's like an opportunity has popped up. It's crazy to me. It's insane.
Mamas. Mamas Kitchen. We got the indoor park. It's pretty dope. They just repainted the whole park. It's way too sticky now. <laughs> it's, no, it's not even a little bit slick. You can't slide around. It's, but it, it, it will be better. There we go. This is the shop. Don't usually sell other stuff than boards, wheels, and trucks and stuff like that. Some clothes here and there. But it's a great skate shop. Support your local skate shop. This one's pretty good. Good for the winter. But we don't have heating in the park, so it gets just as cold inside as outside. It's no reason to be in here because it's so nice weather outside, so let's go out and skate instead of being inside. This little park right now is pretty sick. The, it's just like a granite obstacles on a square piece of concrete. It's pretty sick. It's a cool park. Actually, Red Bull, <laughs> Red Bull paid for the obstacles, which is crazy. Let's do this. So here it is, man. It's kind of nice. All the trees in the parks and stuff like that. Just wish it had a quarter pipe. That's the only thing that is missing. Quarter pipe and a flat bar, actually. So many pine cones in the park, you know? It's a pine, pine cone park. Pine cone! Oh. We finally came back from the store. Fuck. Thank you, man. Are you ready for this? First try. Fuck! I threw the sandwich out of the package. We try again though. This is where, uh, where this little soccer thing is right now, the football thing. That was like one of the first like uh, parks we had, like right here. And that got moved to there. Before it was just like a piece of black like asphalt. But I, did, I just started skating, I was like seven, no, eight years old. And, but like Bjorn and all the other guys were like making obstacles and put it here. 20 years later, we got this. Kind of crazy. Right now I'm working on three parts and one part with Pekka, one part with Torsten Frank and one part with the real skateboards. The first one to come out is Pekka's part and then Torsten's part is uh, Pocket Mag and then we have the real skateboards one that I'm not sure where it's going to come out yet. Yeah, we got footage for all of them. Pekka's is the one that's closest to get finished, it's almost done. So that one will come out first on free. Now we are at a couple of DIYs. We have 
a new one that I made last year. So let's go and check him out. Skate a little bit. See those people over there? It's like behind them. It's like the first DIY that they built here. It's like just two quarter pipes up to like some coping. And it's kind of hard to skate. When I was a kid too, I all it off this roof when I was like nine years old, ten. This is my DIY. It's kind of crusty now. I gotta fix the concrete. It slides pretty good still. I put some lacquer on earlier this year. It's gnarly. <laughs> Six boards, I think, has been lost in the in the ocean so far. You need an old setup to skate this, because if you lose your board, you you lose it. But it's good. It's fun to try and just roll over. <laughs> it's hard, hard to grind. It's so rough. It hasn't been grinded for a while now, so maybe it's just the lacquer has been a little... It's not as slick anymore. <laughs> I want to do another one. Oh, I want more. No. We'll save other tricks for video parts. <laughs> Coming up on a spot, I tried to kickflip way back in the day. I tried to kickflip off of that little roof right there when I was a kid. I always kickflip into the grass and then I tried to kickflip off of it. And I never did it, but I uh, almost landed on a double flip on accident. Let's get it today. The surface up here is different now than it was before. Oh. <laughs> oh. We did it. <laughs> We got it. Welcome to the moon, bro. Uh, this is like our first outdoor concrete skate park. And it's fucking huge. But it's still good. It's good for uh, kind of like if you want to practice some fucking skate tricks to the streets so you kind of can learn anything here or not like you can get used to skating gnarly stuff if i have something in mind that i want to do in the streets and i'm not sure about the trick yet because i don't know it that good i'll come here and try it until i know it better and then i go to the streets and try it I'm trying this fakie flip for fucking ever in uh, portugal i could never do it broke my board and exploded my my shoe so let's try and get I'm gonna try to do a fakie flip out the five block right now super wheel bite after I've done it I fall, eller no. It's weird to pop here <laughs> because you don't see anything. It's the same color.
<laughs> Woo! Let's <laughs> 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 go. Oh, yes. Fuck yes. All right. Ah. Kommer du då? Uh, ja. Ja, kvinnor. Nice sunsets. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>